Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it is the day after, uh, the morning of the day after of the concrete pour in the, in the pole barn project. Um, uh, the guys just came back uh, early this morning and made saw cuts for uh, basically control joints in the slab. So, you know, all concrete is going to want to crack, but you put those control joints in there to uh, really uh, avoid unnecessary cracks or uh, unpredictable cracks. And so uh, they're all done. The floor came out great. I'm real happy with the results. And uh, really all I need to do now is go through and uh, sweep up some of the dust, uh, vacuum it off if I can, because you want to get that off your slab. If there's any moisture in the air, uh, it can react with that dust and, and stain the floor. So I'm going to go through uh, with, with my shop vac and, and try and get that up. Uh, but what I did yesterday was record a bunch of different clips during different stages of the uh, process of pouring this floor slab. And I think I got pretty much a clip of uh, every part of that process. I haven't actually looked at it all or done any editing yet, but what I'm going to do now is uh, start stacking those clips uh, into a video. And so you can see uh, the whole process uh, as it goes along. So I hope it's interesting. Hope you enjoy it. And thanks for watching.
love that. Yeah. Yeah. Problem solving. Here's a status update at the end of day one. So the guys uh, showed up at 10 a.m. this morning and they just finished at around 3 p.m. Um, it was only in the low 50s today, but the inside of the barn is 66 degrees. That's a combination of heat coming off the concrete, heat on the roof. Uh, it's a nice sunny day. So uh, I've just closed everything up. I uh, did some redneck concrete blanket work here. That's uh, some rolled up insulation that I stuffed underneath the doors to, uh, you know, keep the cold from getting in and insulate that uh, edge of, of the slab. Uh, so hopefully that'll do a good job. Um, keep, keeping, keeping a draft out from down there. Um, and I've got the heater on and set to 60 degrees, but it's not doing anything because it's actually warmer than that now. But the floor looks really beautiful. Uh, it's hard to see because it's dark, but uh, they got a real nice polish on it. Interesting, the, 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 the front of the barn was in the sun during most of the day. Uh, the back of the barn was in the shade, and the back of the barn really lagged behind in the polishing by a good hour and a half, I'd say. But they finally got that to the point where they were happy and uh, called it quits. So now we just need to keep the temperature above freezing overnight. Uh, they'll be back tomorrow morning to do some saw cuts and uh, we'll have another video then.